Hi everyone, I'm Beth and I'm here with my part two of my September faves video. And I realized when I was putting together my monthly faves for my video that I had too many faves. And so I decided to break it down into two videos, the makeup video, which is part one, and I'll put a link to the makeup faves video below. And then part two was going to be skincare and hair care. However, I realized after I edited that first video and I'm wearing the same thing because this is one day, I made the first video in the morning before work and now I'm making the second video after work so I am wearing the same thing but I did realize that I forgot to include a few makeup items in that first video so we'll start out with those few makeup items and then we'll go into hair care and then finish up with skin care okay I am so excited to show you these monthly faves and the first is this little Charlotte Tilbury golden girl palette and actually I did mention this in the previous video because between this morning and this afternoon I added this little palette to to my eyes because when I saw this morning's video I thought my eyes looked a little too daily and not enough glam for a video so I went ahead and just doctored up my eyes with the wonderful shades in this palette and aren't they beautiful I use this on the lid and this in the crease this is the crease color this is the lid color you can see that and that's basically all I used I didn't go into the more evening shades down here but this is an absolutely beautiful little eyeshadow palette and that look is called the golden girl and if you would like to see that look in a video please make a comment down below this is absolutely one of my favorite palettes ever and I will say that what makes the application of Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadow so easy is in part her brushes and I got a full range of Charlotte Tilbury brushes and I won't go into all of those right now they will be in a future phase because they are wonderful but basically all she uses to create her eyeshadow looks is just these two brushes the first is this little blender brush very fluffy little blender brush and these brushes are beautiful the handles are beautiful they have brown enameled handles with little rose gold Charlotte Tilbury's on them and they also say what the brush is for like eye blender and this is the eye smudger and so these are the only two brushes she uses to create her eyeshadow look this is the blender and she takes this blender to deposit the lightest color which she calls the primer and then she uses the same brush to do the crease and then she takes this little smudger brush to do the outer V and then under the eye so it is a super simple eyeshadow system really very inexpensive because in most cases when you see makeup artists do looks they use four or five brushes on the eyes and these two brushes seem to work just fine I really really like them okay something else that I have put on my eyes since this morning that I forgot to share with you then that I really want to share with you now is the Charlotte Tilbury color chameleon in champagne diamonds here it is it's just a little champagne pop color that goes right here in the inner corner or you could use it on the eyelids I've tried it on my hand and it's very hard for you to see but I do have it on the interior corners of my eyes here it's a great little inner corner eye brightener you can also use it on your eyelids to brighten up the entire lid or just put it as a little pop in the middle of a lighter lid absolutely a beautiful champagne pop color really really do love this now my next makeup fave is a little inexpensive eyeliner pencil and this is the collab eyeliner pencil and that is the brand from Sally's Beauty and it is called Killer Cole and it is in the color Knockout and here it is and it is just a beautiful dark chestnut brown really like this and the thing that I like best about this is that it is a self sharpening tip so every time you unscrew this lid it is actually sharpening that little tip now this is a good thing and a bad thing this is a good thing because it is hard to sharpen eyeliners I don't tend to do it very much and sometimes when I do it I just can't make that little tip work and this gives you the absolute perfect tip every single time you use it one thing I have noticed about these eyeliners in general I have another favorite which is a pure eyeliner and it's a self sharpener and it went really really fast and I'm not sure about the collab yet I've had this about three weeks and I've been using it and it's really doing just fine I hope it lasts a long time though because that is important to me but I truly love this eyeliner very rich looking and it is what I have on my eyes right now and my next makeup fave is this collab lipstick and it is what I have on my lips right now and it is in the color toss and turn and I've been using it a lot this month I'll go ahead and put it on again so you can see it fresh there you go it's just an absolutely beautiful mattish shade but it is a very comfortable matte wears on your lips a very very long time 
And another thing I like about this is that when you go into Sally's and you look at all of their lipstick shades there, they only have maybe 10 shades. So it is very, very easy to pick out the optimal shade for you. Absolutely love this collab lipstick. And I'll be trying some of the other ones because I think this is a great, very comfortable formula. And then another lipstick phase that I had meant to show you this morning during that video is this Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 lipstick in the color Glowing Gin. And this is a fabulous fall color for us more mature women. Look at that absolutely beautiful case that it comes in. And that is a refillable case. I think that this itself is $36 and then the refills are like $32. So you can keep these lipstick vials if you want and replace it with different colors of the lipstick. And I won't put this one on for you, but it looks very similar to what I have on now. It is a little bit more pinky red. I don't know if you can see, these lips are a little bit more light, more nudie orange. And this is more of a blushing kind of a rose color. And I think that is a very flattering color for most people. And if you're kind of wanting to get out of the nudes, but you're afraid of the really dark vampy colors, I know I am because I used to wear them a lot when I was in my 20s. I used to wear like blue, red, dark lipsticks a lot of the time. But now that I've gotten a little more mature, shall we say, whenever I wear those super dark lipsticks, it looks like my lips have curled in. I look like a little old monster ghoul woman. Dark lipsticks can really tend to emphasize all of the lines and wrinkles that I have on my face. But I think this is a very good one for us because it's a mid-tone darker and it does have the rosy tone to it, which just wakes up her skin and makes us look alive and not dead as those really dark lipsticks do. Now, this next product is a game changer if you would like to lengthen your eyelashes and or your eyebrows. Now, I have not used it on my eyebrows, but I've used it on my lashes and it is super highly rated and it works. It is called the Essie Naturals Eyelash Serum and on Amazon, it is super highly rated. In fact, I'm doing a video about this and the Colab Mascara, which are two fabulous eyelash lengthening products. But basically it has like over a thousand reviews and it's almost five star. It is wonderfully reviewed on Amazon. And the amazing thing that I didn't even notice when I purchased it is that it says on the Amazon website, guaranteed results in two weeks. Well, I didn't see that and I started to use it thinking it would be four to six weeks like all the other lash serums I've used. And then within about the first two weeks of using it, I went, oh my gosh, is this possible? I have used this now for about four to five weeks and at about the two week point, I noticed that these eyelashes in the middle, which I have them now, and I usually do not have them. For some reason, this eye always looks good in terms of lashes. And on this side, basically the middle lashes never seem to grow. So I've got lashes here and here and nothing there. And amazingly, this little product has caused my lashes on that side to fill in. It has just a little eyeliner type brush here. And you just use one little swipe in the evening on one side and then dip in and do another swipe. And not only has it filled this eyelash in, all of my lashes are getting thicker and longer. It is truly amazing. And if you go to Amazon and look at the pictures, people have amazing before and after pictures. And the thing that really impressed me about it was the comments where people said, unlike other lash serums, they do not get irritated using this at all. And that was always my problem. I would use a certain lash serum. I think I used Rapid Lash and Revita Lash and also the generic for Latisse, which is CarePost. I've used all three of those. And basically they seem to work for a while, then they seem to quit working. And then all of a sudden when I'm putting them on my eyelashes, I almost feel like I'm putting acid in my eyes. They just really burn. And I think, how can that stuff be good for my eyes? But so far, this absolutely has produced no irritation. It feels just like water going on your eyes. But wow, what a difference the Essie Lash Serum makes. If you're looking for a great way to longer, fuller lashes, I think you might really like this one. Now I'm almost into hair care, but before I get there, I did want to remind you of a little product that I did a video on maybe about a year ago, and I'm going to link that video below. If you have cold sores, this is a game changing product. This is amazing. And I was reminded of this because a girl at work got a cold sore and I said, hey, I have exactly the right cream for you at home. And I was reminded again of how wonderful this cream is. 
This is the Simply Essentials Virus Soothe Cold Sore Cream, and it was invented by a wonderful herbalist who lives down in Australia. And this is totally natural ingredients, and she's had this formula available for like 20 years. And I will link her website below, but, but you would not believe the incredible reviews that she gets on this product. And I became aware of it about 15 years ago because I had a cold sore and it was a big one. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, am I gonna start these cold sores? Because I often hear that once you get them, it, they're very hard to get rid of. And so basically I researched online and I found this product and I ordered it. It took about a week and a half to get here because it does come here from Australia but I ended up putting it on that cold sore for about three days and that cold sore went away and it never came back. In 15 years, I have never had another cold sore. And the neat thing about this product is it's for cold sores anywhere on your body. You know, if they're in the genital area or the mouth area, it doesn't matter where you have them. But if you have, or if you know someone in your family who has them, I can't think of a better gift to give them than the healing that this little cream does bring on. Okay, let's get into hair care. And again, I am using my YouTube channel to help me solve my beauty problems. And one of them is thin hair. And for those of you who have followed my channel for the last two and a half years, when I first started my channel, I would say about 90% of the time I wore hair extensions. And that was because my hair was getting so thin and I just really hated it. And so I wore those hair extensions pretty much constantly until maybe about six months ago. And my husband started saying, Beth, Sometimes when we go out and the wind blows, I can see those hair extensions or we'd get home from a party and he'd say, Beth, last night I could see the little weft of your hair extension. And it really became kind of embarrassing to me. So I realized that I needed to do some things to thicken up my hair and to wear my natural hair. I think I was even getting a little bit addicted to those hair extensions because I felt it was solving a problem, but actually it was creating another one that I could look a little bit fake and wiggy sometimes. So anyway, this is totally my natural hair now, and I have added thickness to my hair, I think, by using the Hair Max. I think the Hair Max has helped, and also by using some supplements, and I have videos on my channel about my hair growth supplements. In fact, I'll put a link below to my hair growth supplements that I used, and you can actually see how my hair is growing over several months, and it was really growing very well when I was using those supplements. But another thing I've really been doing recently is using volumizing shampoos. And I had tried these Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Volumizing Shampoos long ago when I was using the hair extension when it really wasn't as important to me. And I used maybe a bottle of each of these, the shampoo and the conditioner, and then I went away from it. And then I thought, well, the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner are very highly rated and much more expensive than these, I might add. So I ordered one set of those and I started using them and I thought I really liked them. I thought I really liked them so much that I reordered those expensive shampoo and conditioners again from Kenra. And then I realized after using that a little while longer that I should not have ordered those expensive shampoos ahead. <laughs> That's a bad thing we often do here on YouTube and I hope you don't do it because very quickly I realized that these shampoos actually gave me much more volume than the Kenra shampoos did. And these are the Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Shampoo and Conditioner. And I have them upside down. But basically, they say they are sulfate-free, weightless voluming conditioner, nourishes and volumizes without weighing down hair. And I think that's really true. And this is a sulfate-free hair thickening shampoo. And I use both of these every three days when I shampoo my hair. I think I'm on second day hair right now, and I think my hair still looks very good. And it really does have quite a bit more volume than it does when I don't use these. I also ordered and started using the Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Volume Hair Thickening Cream. And you basically use this on damp, towel-dried hair, and it's just a little cream. You just put it in the palm of your hand, maybe about a teaspoon worth, and then you rub your hands together, and then you put it all through your hair from the roots to the ends. And I think this really does help thicken up my hair. And then about three weeks ago, Haley, who is a beautiful girl in my office with long brunette, very thick hair, she said she had been loving and using these wonderful products. These are very inexpensive products available in the drugstore. They're the Garnier Fructis style products. And this is the Mega Full Thickening Lotion. And you just spray this on your damp hair. I, I spray it on after I've used the Mark Anthony Thickening Cream. Just spray it on from about midsection down. And then this is the Garnier Fructis Ends Plumper, full and plush. 
And this is a little lotion actually that you just spritz a little bit into your palm and rub it together and then use it from about your mid length down to the ends. And since I've been using these products, I really feel like although my hair was thick with just the Mark Anthony products before, my hair seems to be even thicker using these products and I plan to keep using them. I think they're truly wonderful. And another beauty problem that I had, which started about four weeks ago, caused me to, to bring the Kenra Brightening Treatment Intense Violet Tony Mask out of my bin of shampoos that I have. Up in my closet, I've got these bins, and one of them is for makeup that I've kind of thrown in there for future consideration. And then there's also the bin for shampoos and conditioners that I've used for a while and may bring out again in the future. And I hate it when I have to bring this out, but we blondes sometimes get very, very brassy. And what happened is that I went to my colorist maybe four weeks ago and Dana said, you know, how do you like your hair? Do you want it any different? And I told her that I would like some more of the brown streaks put into my hair. I thought it was getting a little bit light and a little bit frizzy fried looking, which you really can get with blonde. I thought it needed a little more dimension of adding the brown into it. And for some reason, by the time I left there, instead of having the darker, richer brown in my hair, my whole head of hair looked yellow. I mean, it was yellow, like hornets are yellow, like, like yellow and black, I was the yellow. And it did not look like this at all. It just looked yellow. And it was so funny because during the visit, I'd asked Anna about these color correcting shampoos. And I said, are they damaging on your hair? Can you use them all the time if you need to? You know, what are they for? And she said, really, it's for if your hair turns yellow as a blonde to get out the brassiness and to get out those yellow tones. And I'd always gotten brassy before and dealt with that but this was the first time I'd ever been truly yellow. And amazingly, from the very first shampoo, after I got home, I went ahead and shampooed it. And for the first shampoo, I used the Kenra Purple Shampoo and also this Kenra Purple Conditioner. And it looked very good. It looked about like it does now. But then I realized that I'd like to keep using my volumizing shampoos and conditioners. So what I did was from there on out, anytime I conditioned my hair with this Marc Anthony Instantly Thick Volume Conditioner, I would mix it in with maybe a teaspoon, maybe a half teaspoon, somewhere in there of this Kenra Purple Toning Conditioner. And so then I would just scruffle that together and put it all over my hair, let it sit the three minutes or so, that type of conditioner is on your head. And then when I rinsed it out and I blow dried it, my hair was a nice normal color again. If you're a blonde and suffer from brassiness or yellowness of any type, you will absolutely love this Kenra Purple Conditioner. Okay, I have one final hair product to show you. And as a blonde with chemically treated hair, it is very important to treat my hair as gently as I can. And for all those years I was washing and drying my hair, I always used a normal scruffy towel. And if you look closely at towels, they have all those little terry cloth loops. And the story is that those loops can really be harsh against your hair and really cause your hair to break off a little bit and show more damage. And so basically the Hair Max people sent me this great little microfiber towel and I'd been seeing these all over YouTube and I'd always really wanted one. So I was just thrilled to have gotten this. And ever since I got this, maybe about a month ago, this is the only towel that I use to towel off my hair. And it is absolutely soft as like a bunny. It is not rough terry cloth like those traditional towels are. It is super, super soft. It almost feels like cotton or a sheep or something like that. It's great. It has the little Hair Max logo on the side. And what you do is once you come out of the shower, you just kind of squeeze out the excess moisture out of your hair. And then you just put your hair up in this little microfiber turban. And then I go ahead and do maybe five minutes more of preparation. And this type of towel supposedly dries your hair 50% faster than a traditional towel. And I have noticed that I really think that once I pull my hair out of this, it does feel more dry. And actually because it is so soft and it is not made of that rough terry cloth, when you use it on your hair, it just is much more gentle on your hair and theoretically should cause less breakage and should cause your hair to look better over time. And I think my hair looks good. I'm not sure I can tell anything about the condition yet, but certainly it does dry my hair faster, which is always good because that means less blow drying time and blow drying can be very harsh on your hair. Oops, I said that towel was my last hair product, but actually I forgot to tell you about this wonderful little tool here. 
This is the Chi Lava Spin and Curl System. And I won't go into all the details and show you exactly how it works because I did create a video showing you how I get beautifully curled hair using this little tool. And it is a revolutionary tool and I really think it's kind of wonderful. And I will say that the Chi people sent this to me and at first I thought, oh, this is kind of a gimmick, right? Basically what you do is you use this little guy on dry hair and you take an inch of your hair at a time and then it says here, this side towards head, and you basically put this side towards the head, and then you put it in there, press one of these little buttons, it's not plugged in, so I can't do it on camera, but basically you press one of these buttons, and then the little curling tool in there automatically curls your hair, and then you wait a few seconds, maybe about, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 seconds, and then it beeps three times and you pull it out gently and you have gorgeous curls. And one of the things that amazed me about this tool is when I went to Amazon, they had maybe 700 reviews on this and they were almost all five stars and they had a tremendous number of before and after pictures that people had posted. Everyone just loves this. I think this would be fabulous if you're using a curling iron right now or a hot tool because when I used to use a traditional curling iron on my hair, it would always feel like that hair was heating up so much I was worried that I could almost hear it sizzling. It just seemed like it was very, very damaging. And then I would pull out those curls and they would just feel kind of crunchy and a little bit damaged. Well, when I use this, it's an ionizing treatment too. And so amazingly, once you make that curl and then pull this down, you just have this gorgeous curl that is maybe warm, but it is never hot. It's shiny, it's thick, it does not look damaged at all. And the thing that truly amazed me is, I would have thought because this is so easy to do that the curls would not last. Well, I've used this little guy a couple of times before work and I, I use it, I get the curls there, I spray the curls, let it dry, and then I kind of finger through those curls with my hands or once in a while I brush through them and then I hairspray it again and then I go to work and amazingly enough that same evening I come home and my hairstyle looks almost exactly the same. Those curls are still in place and what I really love about it is in many cases when I go to bed that evening on those curls, I wake up the next morning and although it's not as intensely curly, I still have a really gorgeous style after having used this the day before and I just kind of brush it out and spray it and I can get a good second day on this. I won't waste any more time in this video explaining this, but if you'd like to see a tutorial on how this video works, I said it was posted below, but I have a feeling I won't have posted the how-to video on this yet. So if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to be notified of this video, please subscribe. And when you click that little bell, you'll be notified of this and my future videos. This is a really great tool. Okay, the last product I'm going to share with you is something that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. And I was sent this product in PR, but I could give any opinion that I wanted to about it. And I really, really, really like this product. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Clinical Grade Resurfacing Liquid Peel. It's an alpha beta acid peel with a pH of 3.5. It is a two-step peel process and you use this one to two times a week. And it's more mild than some of the peels I've used in the past, but I really like that because you don't have to do it just every two or three weeks. You can do it on an ongoing basis once or twice a week. Step one is a little vial of alpha beta acid with a pH of 3.5. I'll show you this. This is how it looks on the inside. And right here is a bunch of little cotton balls. So that's kind of nice that they send you the cotton balls. And what you do is that you take out this little bottle of Pro Peel Step 1. And this is the alpha beta acid part. And you just go three seconds on that cotton ball. They say three seconds in there. And you just scruffle it all over your face. Avoid your eye area. I put it down on my neck too. And then I wait two minutes until it starts to tingle. Actually, I leave it on two, two and a half minutes, something like that. And then what you do is you go to the step two bottle and you put that on a cotton ball again. And this is the clinical grade neutralizer. And you just go one, two, three on the cotton ball and then just lightly scruffle that all around your face and just get as much of that off as you can. And you don't wash this off afterwards. You just leave it on and then go to bed and go about your normal routine. And the step one especially does tingle. That is that alpha beta acid but the thing that I love about it, you get a little bit red right after, but by the morning when you wake up, your skin just absolutely glows. 
and I don't know if you can tell, but it's looking like the surface of my skin is just more even textured. The color is starting to look a little better. And how this works is that those alpha beta acids in the step one just kind of dissolve the glue that holds those dead skin cells on your skin. And once those dead skin cells are gone from your skin, it reveals smoother, tighter, firmer skin. And the studies they did showed that within two weeks of use, and you can use it two or three times a week, I've heard, 100% of people said they felt more glow. And within a few weeks after that, they were noticing a reduction in fine lines and wrinkles. And I haven't used this for that long yet, but I intend to keep on using it because to me, it is a great option if you want to do chemical peels, but you don't want the expense of going into a salon to do them. And this product costs about $95, but it lasts a good long time. You'll get weeks and weeks of peels out of this. And the wonderful thing about this is it's a lot less expensive than going to the plastic surgeon for true professional strength peels. And it accomplishes the peeling process gradually over time. So there is no downtime and you look absolutely glowing while you're giving yourself this treatment. Well, that's a look at my two-part October faves. If you have used any of these products and would like to report down below your experience with them, I would love to hear it. Or if you have great products you would like to recommend that I try for next month, then please leave those in the comments section below. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging and in making your second half your best half, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell to be notified of my future videos. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card. Here it is. When I honor my feelings, I find my power in powerless situations. When I honor my feelings, I find my power in powerless situations. Oh, friends, I really do love this card, and it's something I need to remember. And I'm going to a little dinner party tonight, and sometimes I get a little bit shy, a little bit nervous, and I need to realize when I'm sitting there, maybe feeling those feelings, that I need to honor those feelings and that I don't have to speak out or have something great to say. Sometimes that I can feel those feelings and decide just to be quiet and to realize that I don't have to hold up all sides of the conversation, that I can honor my feelings and just sit back and relax because I think it's totally true. When we honor our feelings, we can find power in powerless situations. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.